Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. I feel like I just like dropped that on myself. I don't think I did though. Um, today isn't like a, sorry, am I off center? Okay, it's weirding me out. If I am, I apologize. Something's not right. Okay. Look, if I am, I apologize. But um, there's no challenge today. Just regular get ready with me because those are fun sometimes too. But I had a lot of fun yesterday with that using my only my fingers challenge. Um, actually the one thing or not the one because multiple things stood out to me but the biggest thing was how great that little powder puff was with the powder and I forgot that like you can just like set I know this sounds silly but I forgot that you can just set like your entire face with powder for a more like mattified look I've just been doing dewy looks for so long or like only setting my t-zone or certain areas of my face but I really like like the blurred kind of look that adding powder to your whole face gives and kind of just forgot about that so you'll probably see me using that more now that I have like a powder that's actually like works for me and my vibe so not like my vibe like you understand like my skin but I am happy to be using tools with me today. It honestly was not that bad. I was so shook by me like using my nail to like do wing eyeliner. That worked so well. I just like that like, you know, if you're in a bind, if you don't have your like tools with you that you could do a full face. Like I like that concept. Cause I am somebody that sometimes will do my makeup on the go, like in the passenger seat. And I don't always bring the right brushes or I don't always bring everything. So I basically just proved to myself, like I can still make a bang and look. Because fingers are wonderful tools. Okay. Looking pretty chill so far. Yesterday also, inspired me to give this putty bronzer from elf like a second when we're like a third chance because when i was like digging my nail in and, and putting it on with my fingers i feel like i actually liked the product i think i just wasn't finding something that was good enough like almost like scooping the product up enough so i think I just really need to make sure like my brush, see, like I needed, I it wasn't using this for like a brush that was like really digging in there and getting the product. So to me, it was like not a good product, but I think it's a lot better than I was first claiming. And guess what? It's okay to change your mind. And that's on so many things in life. Yeah, like when I'm actually working it into the skin and actually have product on my brush, it's a lot better than I thought it was and I think that was the issue. I just felt like this was like too small to get my normal bronzer brush in, but I'm glad that yesterday like inspired me to give it another chance or honestly, I would have like thrown this away but it actually like does something. I even built it up yesterday and it looked really, really nice. Okay, like, okay, okay. I take back what I said before. I'm gonna use a little bit of my number seven. I am like literally almost out. I'm having to like do the thing where you like squeeze the end of the tube. But 
like when you have like toothpaste because it's almost out. This stuff is so good. I totally want to try another shade. I am loving the feeling of clean makeup brushes. It just feels so good to be using them on your skin. I know it can be a pain to go through them all, but it's worth it. The blush is so natural, so subtle, but I love it. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder, bronzer. Just for the tone and to help blend everything in. Honestly, using your fingers makes ensures that your makeup is really blended in also. I felt like everything looked so blended yesterday. My skin looked really good. It turned out a lot better than like I initially thought it would. Okay, I'm gonna reach into this Natasha Denona blush duo. Now I still don't understand how this is like a blush. I remember getting it and being like what the heck but I end up I usually just like put my brush in both because it's Natasha Denona so I'm not gonna like not use it because it's such a good name and it ends up making like a really nice like peachy color it's kind of one of my forgotten products I haven't used it in a long time it wasn't in like my main makeup bin, but I might have to add it to it because I really like it. Just gonna press that in. Okay. I'm gonna use that powder again with that little powder puff. I know I've been using like the little triangle, but this little one that it came with like kind of did it for me yesterday. My eye, I think, is almost fully like healed again. <laughs> Not like healed. Almost. It definitely still has a dry, one dry patch, but it's a lot better. Like, do you see? This side just looks like a lot more smooth. I guess I just haven't really had a good powder in a long time where I've been able to do that and use a powder for its actual intended use. I think this one does a really good job. This is the CoverGirl like in clean and visible. And I it I like it. Okay. is that okay I'm just spooling through my brows I'm just gonna kind of keep it natural and low-key today that's fine for me okay let's move on to the eyes just realized I wasn't recording any of that. Okay, 
I used a brown lip liner from e.l.f. This is my Dose of Colors in Nude Mood. Um, and then I added some of that Tris Luce highlighter um, to my face. I think that's everything besides like the eye look. Oh, my Ilia mascara. Um, and this was the Lorac Artist Pro Palette. So sorry that none of that filmed. I hate when that happens. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.